Hi Colin, my hair is gone. Today is Wednesday, July 9th, and I'd just like to say that since it's already come and gone, Colin, I hope you had a very happy 4th of July. The 4th of July is kind of a weird holiday for me because, you know, I like America and I like a lot of parts of it, but I just feel like celebrating its birthday was just kind of strange. I mean, it's a country, it's not a person. Anyway, the weirdest thing about 4th of July for me living here in Illinois is that everyone celebrates it by setting off small packages of chemicals that, you know, float. And those pretty packages of lights and chemicals and all of the smoke and all of that is illegal. The day that we're supposed to be celebrating our country's freedom, something is illegal and it is the most commonly used item in celebrating that holiday. There's a touch of irony going on there. But Colin, other than your 4th of July, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry that I'm not able to go to the Penny of the Disco Walk the Moon concert with you. I just, I simply cannot drive to Milwaukee and afford the ticket and do all of that and my parents also still be happy with me. And the side note, I'm trying to make my parents happy. It makes everything a lot easier. And even if they're not necessarily happy, if you're just under the radar, I'm just a little bit better. But Colin, even more importantly than that, I have to ask you a very serious question. Is this pizza warm or cold? Maybe your first thought is that, well, he's holding it in his hand and it seems perfectly fine, so logically speaking, it's probably cold, or at least not very hot. But you may also look at it and think, hmm, that cheese doesn't seem to be gooey or moving at all, it's probably cold. Or maybe you're looking at the color of the pepperoni or the crust and looking and recognizing the fact that that looks pretty stiff and that was probably cold. That's probably not something that just came out of the oven. And if you thought any of those things, Colin, then you are in fact correct, because I just took that pizza out of the refrigerator. As a side note, I do enjoy eating cold pizza. But the reason I asked which way it seemed that you would first go about the idea that that pizza is probably cold is because of this. I want to know what you look for first when you're looking for evidence about a topic, especially when it's presented in such a visual way. Do you first look at the physical details of the object, like how stiff it seems or maybe what the colors are, or do you instead focus on the logical parts of it? I'm just curious, because I usually find myself coming to a conclusion based on both of these things. But the reason I'm curious about it is because I've seen a lot of people recently who seem to take it from only one or the other. People look at very basic details a lot of the time, and honestly, people just don't always think things through all the way. Or on the flip side, I've actually seen a couple people who only think about things theoretically and can't seem to understand the actual fact of the matter. Colin, people are weird, and the way that we think about things is weird, the way that we decide things are right is weird, and the way that we accept anything at all is weird. So Colin, next time someone asks you a weird question like, is this pizza hot or cold and doesn't actually let you touch the pizza, maybe think about why you're coming to the conclusion that you're coming to. Sometimes just thinking about our own evidence and warrants makes us better at thinking about things logically and making arguments in general, or just living our lives. You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to use deductive reasoning. All you have to do is pay attention. Colin, I'll see you on Saturday.